the area under the curve for uh, problem number um, 23. And um, problem number 23, we're just asked to find the area under the curve of 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then we close that. Whoops. Well, I guess we don't need to close it if we're in math print. So we'll just clear that out. 1 minus x squared, and that's the function. And so what I can do is if I go to zoom standard fit, we should be in there, and it's the top half of a circle with a radius of 2 about the origin. And I want to evaluate the area under the curve from negative 1 to 1. Now, there's two ways I could do this. The first way is just to do it graphically by hitting second trace, and it pulls up my calculate menu, and I just go to the integral notation here at the bottom, option number seven, and it's going to ask me the lower limit, which in this case is negative one, then it's going to ask me for the upper limit, which is positive one, and then it does the math and calculates the area under the curve as pi, which makes sense because, um, you know, it's a radius of two, and if you calculate the area of a circle with a radius of two, and then it, and divide it by two, uh, you end up with pi. So the area under the curve is pi. Another way that you could do this, um, if you don't feel like graphing it, is you could actually go to math and then function integral option number nine. So I'll scroll down there so you guys can see it. So this is if you want to take a derivative, if, if you want to do an integral or a definite integral, um, we could hit enter. And here we put our lower boundary. Up here we're going to put our upper boundary. And here we're going to put our function 2 times uh, the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then we're going to take this with respect to x. So here we would just put in the variable x. And what we're doing, and, I mean, and that's the notation basically that you see in your book. Once I hit enter, it goes through. The calculator does the approximation, takes a second, and then it spits out pi. Okay. Um, one, I want to I want to change the mode real quick because sometimes you guys have older calculators and they don't have math print; they have classic print. So use the cursors until it's blinking over over classic print, and then exit out of mode by hitting second mode. Okay, from here what we'll do is we'll do option number nine. We're going to say two times the square root of 1 minus x squared, um, comma x, because we're taking the integral with respect to x, then our lower boundary, comma, upper boundary, close the parentheses, and what this is saying is we're evaluating the um, function 2 times the square root of the quantity 1 minus x squared with regards to x, and with respect to x from the lower boundary of negative 1 to the upper boundary of um, one, and I should get pi or close to it. There it is.